Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another video and uh, this time I've got something special for you guys. Now, being a OnePlus 3 owner, um, I myself and a lot of others are facing a lot of uh, small, small uh, problems and uh, this is going to be a list of them and how to fix most of them. So let's get started. <music> It's been about two weeks since I've been using my OnePlus 3 and I have to say my experience with the device has been great so far. But like most uh, phones, uh, the OnePlus 3 has its fair share of problems and today I'm going to list a few of them which I feel are the cause of tension in our relationship. Uh, these problems are not exhaustive and there may be more. You can check out the Android Authorities uh, article to see the most common problems which I may not be discussing. The problems I'll be talking about are much more noticeable when using the phone and uh, I personally feel these need to be addressed as soon as possible. So yeah, let's get started. Now let's get started with the problem. The first one which I want to address is the display. The OnePlus's display is a very beautiful optic AMOLED dis uh, affair and as with any AMOLED display the colors are quite oversaturated. Now OnePlus did think of this and chose to add an sRGB mode in the latest update. That is good and all but I and a lot of others still feel the display is a bit on the warmer side and when switching on the sRGB mode you lose access to the color balance slider you had in the display options. Now this is a very simple fix uh, on the software side if at all you need a fix. Many people will be happy with the warm tones of the display but personally I feel it's a bit too warm. It causes the whites to come up as a bit uh, yellowish. So. There, it, there you have it. For those who need an immediate fix, there are a lot of uh, uh, screen calibration apps which is available in the uh, Play Store and there are a lot which uh, require root access which can do a lot more also. So that is something. Now on to the other one which are the push notifications. The push notifications can be wonderful lifesavers and deadly devils in different contexts. Here I am talking about the notifications you receive on your status bar when something like a message is received by an app like WhatsApp, Hangouts or something like that. The problem what I face in OnePlus 3 is that the the push notification simply does not show up and only shows up when you open the specific app. This seems to be a common problem for a lot of people and it seems to have something to do with the battery optimization in the OnePlus 3's Oxygen OS in relation to the DOS settings in the Android 6.0.1. The phone doses so much so that it doesn't care about any notification which is received so yeah now this can be a very bad thing as a few notification can relate to work and uh, important life messages can be missed uh, all too easily so now how to fix this one it's again a software related bug so eventually there might be an official fix from oneplus uh, as a firmware update but for those who need it now there is an app called push notification fixer uh, which does exactly what it says in the title and um, it even has a root option which can be a very good thing for if you have root on your phone it uh, functions much better and uh, what it does is that it, it it makes a few heartbeat settings it changes the heartbeat settings of the dose setting and uh, it uh, checks for notifications uh, there might be an, a fixed interval of time. It does work and it is working as I've tested it. Another method I'm using is by disabling the battery optimization for the particular app from which you need the push notification as soon as possible. This can be enabled by uh, going to battery, uh, pressing the three dots mode, uh, battery optimization, select the app and disable optimization. This also works and doesn't need a third party app so that's less crap on my phone. Now another issue which a lot of people are having is with the heating and heating up of the phone and the battery drain. The phone does heat up when it's in the pocket of your pants and uh, from what I hear is caused by the fingerprint scanner trying to recognize anything conductive as a reading and constantly being used so that it uh, in turn it also drains the battery life. I personally did have this issue uh, once or twice uh, when I felt the phone vibrating in my pocket but this hasn't been that widespread or frequent on me so uh, your mileage may vary on that. Uh, the first obvious uh, fix for this is to turn off the fingerprint scanner and use a pin code as a password but uh, that defeats the purpose of having a fingerprint scanner doesn't it. Uh, other methods to counter this include uh, placing the uh, phone in your pocket with the display facing away from your leg so the scanner is free. Or you can also use a flip cover that should work too. But uh, placing the phone in your pocket with the display facing away 
Yeah, be careful not to bump into anything because you can shatter the screen, so don't do that. Now again, as with any other issue which I have discussed, this can also be fixed within the software by having the proximity sensor work in tandem with the sensors uh, with the fingerprint scanner. So just disable the fingerprint reader when the phone is in the pocket. Active Display uses this and I don't see a reason why this cannot be used for this issue too. So let's hope that is in here soon now the display brightness this is a more jarring issue personally because i found that when the phone is set to adaptive display in the brightness setting uh when moving from a uh, dimly lit areas to a brightly lit area like outdoors the phone is a little slow and uh in uh, changing the brightness setting and it's really sudden i'm not sure what is the what the cause of this issue is i mean it's pretty no noticeable also the brightness doesn't go in small increment it just goes from 4 to 11. Uh, other phones handle this very elegantly but on the oneplus 3 it's just not as great so uh, it feels as if the phone realized you moved and it's freaking out getting the brightness up. On my Z3 which is my previous phone it was something I didn't notice at all as if it was just working in the background and uh, giving me the brightness which I needed. Here you can see the bright bump in brightness a lot and uh, it is quite slow to bump up that brightness too. Again as with most issues this is also easily fixable with a software and uh, I'm hoping this is addressed sooner than later by these guys because uh, this is something which is jarring. Now there are also certain issues which are just there because we are moving up in the uh, technological advancement like the obvious uh, USB-C issues. Now obviously when moving from a standard to the next there is going to be a lot of problems mainly with the peripherals uh, you have been using it which will not be fitting your new shiny device. Such peripherals include USB cables, OTG cables, OTG flash drives you had and uh, universal docks for your phones, that rare RJ45 micro USB converter which you use to speed up your world domination plans using your smartphone, all that. And uh, But there are solutions like a USB type C to micro USB converter dongles which are small inexpensive stuff which are re relatively easy to find and you can actually use that until uh, micro USB dies off eventually and uh, there are more uh, USB type C peripherals available. Now obviously again the design of the phone it's a fully uh, aluminum clad beauty and it's it's as slippery as a bar of wet soap if you have dry hands. I mean, uh, it really does go slip out of your hands all too often. And slippery phones don't end up in a very good condition for very long. So do yourself a favor and get a case. As painful as it might be, it's for its own good. So these are a few of the uh, issues which I faced, uh, which, which are immediately uh, obvious and immediately you see them, the, them on your phone. So uh, I hope to have fixes for the software issues soon by oneplus or by third party developers on the xga forums a lot of them already have fixes in the custom rom department so yeah i hope you guys like the video i uh, hope you guys have gained some knowledge about the phone if you are going to purchase it and if you have already gotten the device i would like to know what other issues are you guys facing because yeah every phone has some sort of issues no phone is perfect so i would like to hear your thoughts on this so yeah i guess that much is it about the video hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye